are to worship God. We are to serve God. We are to live dependent on God, not autonomous. And that we are to maintain the temple of God to be holy, sacred, for the possession of God. The, the, the Eden, the garden story is not just a historical story that has no implication to us today. It makes us appreciate how we need to live today. The mandate then is our mandate now. For you have been brought with a price, therefore glorify your body, glorify God in His temple today. That is the mandate of Eden. That is the story of Genesis chapter 2. Remember, the garden of Eden is not the garden of man, it is the garden of God. We look at the story of Eden as if man is the center. No, God is the center of it. And Adam is the priest that needs to serve God. We are the priest that needs to serve God today. The Eden has been restored in us. God, was, God has indwelt his tabernacle in us. Amazing. Wherever you go, God is there. God is here right now. God is listening. And waiting. As I mentioned, there are three main functions of the priest at that time. And if we are to do the priestly act, which we are told we are, we are to follow it in our way today. First, I said, is to keep the space pure. How does that apply to me right now? There should not be any sin in my life. That is how to keep the space sacred and pure. That if there is a sin in your life, you are to confess it. The second thing that the, the priest would do is to maintain the environment, to, to maintain the sacred time. What does that mean for us today? That we are to maintain the details of our worship daily. What that means is having the regular devotion time. As much as the priest would make sure that the habits of worship, the sacrifice, the Sabbath. There is none like you. <laughs> when, when the priests are there to maintain the, the worship place by having a routine of, of Sabbath and sacrifice, we are to do the same today by having our regular devotion daily and worship weekly. And thirdly, as the as the priest tries to preserve the sacred space, they are the gatekeepers, right? I said they determine who has access and not access. Today, as the priest, we are to gatekeep also our mind, the temple. What we hear, what we see. I remember having a you know, son of mine. I, I remember talking to my son. It's a good talk. All our talks are good. It ends good, at least. And uh, he had some challenges. And I told my son, son, to improve life, you have to determine what you see and what you hear. And one of the things that you have to do that's very important is choose your friends right. Was who, who your friends are will determine what you hear and what you see. You hang out with the wrong friends, then you hear and see, and you are influenced by the wrong things. 
and for the for the priest at that time to preserve sacred space he is the gatekeeper of the temple he determines what enters and what does not enter and if we are to maintain our priestly functions now we have to be our gatekeepers determine what we see and what we hear what we act what we what we watch and what we read i remember my son yesterday said that can i pair my uh my ipad to the to the bluetooth for sure he played the music and the, the first word that came out like i'll kill you <laughs> something to that if i forgot the word so what the heck are you listening to <laughs> right <laughs> what song is that okay let's stop let's play worship songs <laughs> and we ended up singing worship song similarly we are to be gatekeepers that is the mandate of the Garden of Eden. That we are to worship, we are to adore, we are to obey our God who now resides in us. <clears throat> worship, obey, and serve. The mandate then is our mandate today. Blessed is the Lord. <clears throat> uh, you can play the music.